All right, another quick one here, guys. I am absolutely loving this uh, new AI image generator from ChatGPT. And I'm going to show you something that I've, I haven't seen anybody do yet. And it's a really important way to generate stuff. So look at this conversation. And it's good to start up a new thread. So I use G, uh, ChatGPT 4.0. You want to start a new conversation because these images, I find, they start, when you generate an image in just some random conversation, it'll mix up uh, things before in the chat. So start a fresh one. Now look at this, Th this kind of thing you could not do with any other AI image generator. So I start with not generating an image. I do some research. So I would click on the search uh, button here to search the internet. And then I say, look up the current polls in the Canadian election. Also look up stats and reasons why each candidate's better. The goal of this is to later make an infographic. So I'm just getting some, doing some research first. Okay, so it, it goes and searches stuff, reads some articles. And then I said, get photos of both Carney and Polyev. Those are the two main candidates, the number one and two. So these are the photos. So it goes and looks for these two photos of these guys. Um, and then I said, create, uh, or I click on here and create image. You can just write create an image as well. I said, create an image of Carney and Polyev as a cartoon. You don't want to put too much effort um, into one, like you want to break up the things. Like I could put this all into one prompt, but then it wouldn't work. So it's good to break them up. Now I said, um, now plan what the infographic with these guys as cartoons would say. Plan it out, make it look good and be as formative and be informative to Canadians. So then, so I'm still not even making the infographic. I'm just asking it to plan it. So it plans all this stuff. Uh, now, to be honest, I thought this is going to be too much, and it did turn out to be, but it plans everything. And then it goes and makes this, but it's just got Polyev. There's some, you know, it added some numbers. These are the wrong colors here for the different parties. So I said, okay, that was too much information for your AI image. Now, just to backtrack for a second, no other image generator could come close to making anything like this with this many words. This was close, but I said it was still too much. So I said, okay, that was too much. Uh, you know, stick more to the facts. I want, I do want the cartoons, but I want it accurate with no spelling mistakes. Make a much simpler plan. Tell me about the plan and I'll tell you if it's good. So then it goes and makes a simpler plan. Uh, and I said, uh, okay, make sure it mentions only the two top guys. Um, then it makes another simpler plan again. And then I say, okay, make an infographic with this new simpler info. And then I get this. These are pretty realistic looking cartoons. These are the right numbers. No mistakes in here. This is really impressive. So like this type of thing, it, it doesn't have to be about an election. Obviously, it could be anything. But where you get ChatGPT to look up information online, summarize it, get a plan going, and then throw it into an image. Now, I I started doing this uh, after after this. I thought I want it to be a little bit more Canadian branding. So then it made it too simple, though. Um, so you know, I said, "Can you put a Canada flag there and make it like a red theme?" Uh, and and it started, you know going in the wrong direction it, it then I asked it to do it again but I was I was very happy with this you know I could download this upload it to a new conversation and then tweak it and and get it to make um, make it with like slightly better uh, Canadian flag themed branding like once the conversation gets too long it gets confused I find but this is very impressive a huge use case for education advertising, social media posting, this sort of thing. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, information flow. Uh, looking forward to you know hearing your thoughts in the comments. And as I've said on many videos, I will be incorporating this into Carterio. So take a look at that. Sign up for our email. All the stuff's in the YouTube description. But hope you like this one. Talk to you soon.